This video is for people like me who like to maintain one catalog in Lightroom, but you have a second computer that you like to travel with. So I'm going to show you how to make a second temporary catalog that you use during your shoots. And when you get back to your home or office, you are able to merge that temporary catalog with the master. The only tool you're going to need is a portable hard drive like this. That's where you're going to store your temporary catalog and the images during your travels. Okay, so if you haven't done so already, I encourage you to go to our website and download the PDF I wrote called Lightroom Master Catalog and Managing Catalogs While Traveling. For this video, we're going to start at page 7, where we're connecting an external hard drive to Computer One or your desktop computer, and we're going to create two folders on the first directory of that hard drive, one called Images and the other folder called Lightroom Catalogs. The next step is to create a new catalog or temporary or travel catalog and that's done if we open Lightroom on your desktop computer or computer number one on the master catalog. You go up to file new catalog. And this is where you give it a name. I'm going to call it temp just for this exercise. You're going to have to navigate from some place on your computer to the detached or external hard drive and choose the LR catalogs folder. This is where you're going to place this new catalog click create and this is where I'm not going to back up my master catalog right now you can choose to do that if you want and this is where it closes down the master catalog and then it's going to relaunch Lightroom with the new empty or blank catalog and in some cases you might have to update that catalog now I have a new blank travel catalog called temp so don't forget to reopen your master catalog on your desktop computer just go back up to File menu and File Open Recent and there you will find your master catalog listed. If you choose that, it will ask you to relaunch Lightroom. For the next step, you're going to take your portable hard drive, plug it into your laptop, and if you're running Lightroom, go ahead and close it at this time. Double click that icon for the hard drive, the portable hard drive, go to the LR Catalogs folder that we created a minute ago, and then inside the temp folder, you're going to find the temp or the name of your catalog .lrcat file. If you double click that, Lightroom will launch and it will launch that catalog. This is where you can import all your images from your shoot. I'm not going to go over every step of importing images into Lightroom or the temp catalog while you're on your trip. However, on page 10, I would like to highlight a couple items that I know can cause grief later on. Number one is if you're importing images into the temp catalog, make sure that you choose the proper destination. That's that hyperlink way up in the upper right hand corner. And there you'll find other destination. That gives you the option or the ability to go choose your external hard drive and then of course that images folder that you created earlier. Click choose. And now here's the other trick. Under the destination tab that you do not choose the into subfolder because that'll make another folder in that images folder. Equally as important, make sure that you have it set to into one folder rather than by date. So now you're back from your shoot. You'd like to import your temporary catalog back into the master catalog. For those who are following along on the PDF, I'm down to page 14. Attach your portable hard drive into your desktop or computer number one. And if we look here, you can see we have all our images stored right inside our images folder. And inside the Lightroom catalogs folder, we have the temp catalog folder and, of course, the temp LR cat file. Go ahead from here and launch your master catalog and go up to file. And this is where you want to import from another catalog. When you choose import from another catalog, a dialog box comes up asking you what catalog do you want to choose. Well, you simply go to the external hard drive that you used for your vacation or trip, shoot, and you choose the LR catalogs folder again, the temp folder, and in here you want to choose your temp catalog file. Click choose. This is where you're going to set up a couple parameters. You want to copy all the folders with all the images File handling is important. This is what you want to do. You want to choose copy new photos to a new location and import. And be careful because you want to choose the correct folder. Here's where you want to go into your hard drive on desktop 
computer or computer number one. In this case, I have a RAID running in the background and I have a folder by the year and inside there, I have all my different shoots that I've done so far. I'm just gonna simply choose the year folder and then I can import. And finally, I typically delete everything off of this portable hard drive so that it's ready for the next shoot, but that's because I do have a RAID on my desktop where everything's backed up. But if you don't have a RAID, you might want to consider leaving the images folder on this portable hard drive as a backup. Mm -hmm.